Oh, hello. Welcome to our Today's Decay. Celebrating birth and beginnings of everything important since the dawn of time. It's January 24th. The edition. All day. Whatever happened, you ask, I'll tell ya. Today, 1907, Toots Washington was born, who was a uh, boogie woogie, um, rhythm and blues musician in New Orleans, uh, who backed and played with countless musicians down there, uh, but very rarely, and I mean like for most of the 20th century, uh, but very rarely was ever put on recording. He's just like the lifeblood of New Orleans music, which is kind of like rather ethereal and romantic and isn't that exciting. Yeah, 1907, Toots Washington. 1911 today, C.L. Moore was born. That's Catherine Lucille Moore, who was a writer of Weird Tales, Weird Fic, a uh, Weird Tales magazine. She was a writer of Weird Fiction, being published in magazines such as Weird Tales magazine, like this one right here, uh, billed as C.L. Moore. Not because at the time there were many women who were writing uh, weird fiction, but. Uh, they were u often using pen names, either full-on taking on the persona of a man or having somewhat mysterious uh, pen names as far as their sex. Like, women were, it was kind of like a closed-door men's club, as ridiculous as that is. Like, people who were interested in sci-fi and fantasy and weird fiction somehow didn't think there was any place for women in it, in general. Which is wild to think. I, I, don't, I don't know. No, no, uh, no explanation here. Other than uh, that was not why she was C.L. Moore, billing herself not as Catherine Lucille Moore at the time. She was billing herself as that because she had a day job and these were things she didn't want to be publicly attached to to affect her real income because this stuff paid like peanuts. This is what she really enjoyed doing. And um, she actually wound up going back and forth in like a, a pen pal uh, dynamic with a, a fan of her work um, who thought C.L. Moore was a guy and somewhere along the lines they uh, found out that C.L. Moore was a woman and this fan and her wound up hitting it off and falling in love and getting married and uh together they wound up he uh, i forget his name off the top of my head but he was also a like prominent writer um and together they wound up uh collaborating on a ton of stories for like the rest of their lives and neither one of them um ever again i think i could be telling tales out of incorrectly here but um uh, the story as it was told to me was that once they found each other, they just started collaborating on writing stories together and never wrote, either one of them ever wrote another story on their own. I just think that's like so romantic, right? Sharing your passion and like building these creations together. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Farnsworth Wright, who was the editor of Weird Tales magazine at this point, when first reading uh, the story that is in, in in these pages here of Weird Tales. This is um, 1933, the November edition. This is the one that follows directly after the um, um, Vampire Woman iconic one that Margaret Brundage did the artwork. She, Margaret Brundage did the artwork for this one as well, and I, I quite love this one too, but the, I mean, no argument. The, uh, the Vampire one is... The iconic one for the era, right? Anyway, so this one, uh, Farnsworth Wright publishes C.L. Moore's Shambhala, and upon reading it for the first time, declared it a holiday for Weird Tales magazine, and everybody should go take the rest of the day off. He was ecstatic about uh, finding this person and was thrilled to be able to publish that work. Yeah. So that's the C.L. Moore story. Uh, and Great Scott, who else was born today, 1936? None other than Jack Scott himself. Rockabilly musician, performer, Mr. Cool. Plenty of great songs. The Way I Walk, Leroy, a lot. Smoldering. 
powerful stuff, I'd say. Jack Scott. Uh, speaking of powerful stuff, today, 1946, Haji was born, uh, which is funny because uh, just the other day at the Flying Fox, uh, I watched Uncle Spooky Horror Host um, uh, Faster Pussy Got Kill Kill, starring Haji and Laurie Williams and Tara Santana. But uh, Uncle Spooky called out Haji as his favorite. Not that you have to play favorites, but just so you know, Haji, wherever you are. Yeah. Uncle Spooky's number one. <laughs> uh, not, not Uncle Spooky's number 12, because the Twilight Zone episode number 12 looks just like you from here today, 1964. Quality, solid Twilight Zone episode, I, I have to say. Yeah. Uh, and 1968, the super sexy film Danger Diabolique premiered. What a picture. What a picture indeed. Really great, great uh, set design, great costume wonderful costume design the music everything about this movie you just can't get it out of your head you can anyway that's the whole day january 24th from us to you till tomorrow goodbye